Hey everyone, in this video, we are going to answer the question, does the psionic neural sleeve work with foot drop? How I'm going to do this is I have multiple cameras set up, and we're going to even look at the new camera set up, the belly cam, um, to see me walking with and without the psionic neural sleeve activated. So you can judge and you can tell the difference. Myself, it's very pronounced, but um, visually it's sort of hard to do, especially with GoPros. But we'll give it a good shot here, so stay tuned. Here we go. Okay, this first pass we're going to do, I'm going to do with it turned off. Right now, I do not have the silent neural sleeve turned on. I'm going to walk back and forth here, look at my feet. I'll narrate as we go. Okay, as I walk, without it on, I'm scuffing, and I'm turning a little bit to the inside almost like I'm wanting to cross my leg as I walk. There's a good scuff. So during the winter time, actually walking in the snow, I leave trails. Um, that is how I want to walk without any correction, guys. It's that bad. And there's almost, almost complete cross. And there's the, the scuff. Let's do another one here. Another pass. Sorry about the wind. Not much I can do about that. But you can't see the dust I'm bringing up. And yellow jackets don't like it either. They're down on the ground. Yeah, my stride's a lot shorter. Hey, a quick disclaimer, I am not a medical professional, nor am I an employee or paid by Psionic. So, um, just a rancher, trying to make do with MS with whatever tools I can to stay active and stay in the battle. Um, and I'll turn into the sun. So, with the sleeve on, there's a pouch in the sleeve on the thigh. That's where the control unit plugs into the system. Beneath the Psionic, um, circle here, there's actually a button that I can push through it. I just turned it on. So now the cyanide sleeve is on. I've already had it set up because it's boring to watch me do it. <laughs> if you want to learn more about the cyanide neural sleeve, remember, I got the video on it. So now, look at my foot. Longer stride. My toes lifted up. That's in response to the electrical charge that I'm getting, even walking into this wind. Wow. It's pulling up and over to the right. And that's the way I have it programmed right now. You can change the programs on the setting on the fly to the app. And yes, I do have a video on the app. Once again, this is rough, uneven ground, but I'm not leaving a trail and I'm not puffing up uh, dust as I walk. I like that. Now, when you first get set up with your sleeve, um, you will notice uh, the tingling. Um, as it stimulates the muscles as you walk. But in maybe 10 strides, it's gone. You don't even notice it. At least I don't. And uh, that's, uh, it's not uncomfortable. Um, it's actually very comfortable as you're walking. When you're getting back more towards a normal gait than one with a lot of 
extra effort to get your foot to clear the ground. Um, the other thing with the, the sleeve I like is, unlike my AFO, which is broken in pieces, um, that's heavy, even though it's carbon fiber. Um, it is uh, a lot heavier and a lot more uncomfortable to wear than the Sionic Neural Sleeve. All right, hopefully that answers the questions on that. This video, by the way, uh, was brought to you by one of our subscribers that wanted to see, actually a couple that left comments about it. So please, I do read the comments, I do answer them, and I do uh, request. So if you have a request, let me know. Um, no, it's not waterproof. I'll answer that right there. You can't take it swimming. And um, it does last about uh, eight to 10 hours, although they want to limit it to eight hours because of the gel uh, electrode pads against your skin. They don't want it to irritate. Hey, if you haven't seen my box opening video on the Sionic Neural Sleeve yet, um, you might want to check that out. I'll have a link at the end of this video. And also I'll have a link down in the description below, along with a link to my video showing how the application app for your smartphone uh, works and how it's set up and runs the neural sleeve. Really cool stuff. So thanks for watching and everyone stay safe, be healthy.